but I don't believe he is. It looks like his hair is still growing, but I will say that it does appear to be growing at a slow rate, but I think that's just to be considered with his hair type being such a tight curl pattern with it being around 4B. And for everyone who has a 4B hair type or anywhere in the 4 range, it always appears that your hair grows a little bit slower. And the reason being is because your curl pattern is so tight. Take a slinky, for instance, which is essentially just a very big coil, which I believe resembles the 4C hair type. If you were to take a slinky and take the metal and stretch it all the way out, it would appear way longer than the slinky itself being all contracted. That's how I compare the 4 range hair type. It's essentially just a coil that is compressed all the way down versus it being extended. So that's why it always appears that the 4C hair type or the 4B hair type or even the 4A hair type takes quite some time for it to actually grow out. And the cool thing about dreadlocks is once it's initially locked up and fully matured, then it seems like it's growing extremely fast because you're not used to seeing that much growth because you're actually seeing how fast your hair is growing. Because realistically, everybody's hair grows about half an inch every single month. It doesn't matter what your hair type is. It doesn't matter who you are. That's typically how long your hair grows. So overall, everybody grows about six inches of hair every year and 12 inches of hair every single two years. So that helps put things into perspective for you. But will bleaching your hair destroy your dreadlocks? Now it doesn't destroy the hair, it doesn't kill it because a lot of people don't understand that your hair itself isn't alive. I mean, once it grows out of the scalp, then I mean, that's really it. Of course your hair holds nutrients and oils and so on and so forth. But there's no way for you to actually completely damage your hair because it's not a living organism. And the reason being is because your hair grows out from the roots, not from the tip of the actual hair. Now what can happen is from bleaching and dyeing the hair is the tips can continue to break off and you're really stunting your growth. Now at the root, which typically happens from, you know, buildup or a dry scalp or just not washing your hair enough or not taking care of your actual scalp. This is stunting the growth by literally just cutting off the tips continuously from breakage. And to be honest, this doesn't only happen just from bleaching the hair. This can happen from not knowing how to properly use the crochet hook or not knowing how to properly maintain your hair. It could even happen from pulling your hair up too much or braiding your hair too much. All these things can be factors into you stunning your hair growth. But speaking of braiding the hair, I will say that DDG has one of the coolest hairstyles resembling Killmonger's dreadlocks from Black Panther. And overall, this is one of my favorite hairstyles to see is the four braids back, especially with the high top fade. I think it just looks really cool. And the first time I ever seen it was on Killmonger from Black Panther. And overall, I think it's just a really clean look. So will bleaching your hair destroy your hair? Not necessarily, but it will contradict what you're trying to accomplish if you want to accomplish longer dreadlocks or if you want to accomplish hair growth. Those are certain things you have to think about because whether you notice it or not, that all that bleached hair will typically eventually fall out over time, even as the hair is growing. I'll give you a perfect example. My wife used to have a full head of blonde hair, but she's naturally brown hair. So she had her hair bleached all the way down to the roots. And after two years of naturally growing out her hair without bleaching it anymore, all the blonde is literally gone. And it's not that she cut all the blonde out, it's that the blonde just continuously falls out over time. So for instance, instead of her hair being 24 inches after two years, it's still essentially about the same length just because it was constantly replacing itself with new hair and getting rid of the old hair. So that's essentially what happens. And a lot of people don't know that they stunt their own hair growth by bleaching their hair. Now, one thing I do want to point out about DDG's dreadlocks, especially the bleached parts, is that they still look like they're in pretty good shape. And what I mean by that is they're not that bright of a blonde. Now, if it was bleached and you can tell it was bleached all the way through, then that's when you start to see a lot of the breakage. But by looking at his dreadlocks, you can see that even under the bleach itself is still his black natural hair. So you can see his natural hair color through the bleach, which goes to show that all that bleach is just the surrounding hair around the dreadlock. And I actually did a video with Jimmy Got Soul on the Beyond the Roots series, and we were talking about bleach dreadlocks and how it really doesn't damage the inside of the dreadlock. It just really takes over the outside of the dreadlock, especially depending on how thick or thin your dreadlocks are. The thinner your dreadlocks are, it's typically gonna bleach the entire dreadlock. But the thicker your dreadlock becomes, it only bleaches the outside rim of the actual dreadlock itself. So that can make your dreadlock quote unquote more healthy, if you have a thicker dreadlock. Now I'm saying all this for you to not be surprised if you are experiencing breakage and so on and so forth with bleached dreadlocks. Know that it's normal, but there are ways to prevent it. Just like not bleaching your hair as much. And I wouldn't recommend bleaching your hair more than once. 
Now, of course, do what you want to do with your hair and accomplish the look that you want to accomplish. But just know the more you bleach your hair, the more brittle it becomes. And the more brittle it becomes, the more easier it is for it to actually break off. But we will definitely see how DDG's dreadlocks turn out. I will say that they're still looking very clean. I don't think they're completely destroyed. And a lot of people will just take things to the max when it comes to these things. But all the things that I mentioned in today's video with, you know, the breakage and the bleaching, these are all things for you to consider before actually doing these hairstyles. Because I can say that bleaching and dyeing the dreadlocks and doing different hairstyles really makes the dreadlocks look cool. I mean, if you guys are even following Activerse on YouTube, he's dyed his dreadlocks multiple times and he's done it the proper way. So if you want to see how to actually dye dreadlocks, you can go to Activerse's channel. But guys, overall, I will say that DDG still does have some good looking dreadlocks. I think they're still healthy. And I think it's just going to be really interesting to see where he goes next with them. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also comment down below who you guys would like to see.